Good evening guys, this is Sumaya. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today in this video, we are going to learn about how to make a lighting design portfolio. The portfolio will be needing when we are applying for the jobs, maybe as a fresher or even as an experienced person. This portfolio is also used by the freelancers and also by the company. Basically, the portfolio says about your skills, about your expertise, about the projects you have worked. It basically speaks about your understanding of lighting design. So make sure you take time to make the portfolio and include the skills and your work so that your portfolio speaks in behalf of you in the recruitment process okay so now let's get started the first thing when you're making the portfolio is to decide which software you'll be using to make it there are so many online sites which give you an easy access to make the portfolio it is a good option then you have the softwares like ms powerpoint you have canva then indesign there are many more softwares. My personal favorite is PowerPoint because it is very, very easy to edit the documents. So we'll be discussing about making a portfolio in MS PowerPoint, simple and easy. Okay, let's get started. The first thing is the template. Make it simple and precise because you want your work to be shown, not the template. Okay. Having a good template is a good impression, but make sure you're not overdoing the template, the background designs, right? Okay. When you're setting the slide size, how are you going to do this? Go to view, go to design, go to the slide size. Here you have two standard sizes available, the standard and the widescreen. You can choose any one of this okay or if you want to have a custom slide size go down click here under this under the drop down menu you have a3 a4 letter you can set it to portrait or landscape it is your choice and then click ok i would suggest if you're taking a printout of your portfolio Set it in an A3 or A4 format in the landscape view. So, you know, when you're taking the printout, it is properly printed. Okay, this is about the settings you need to make. So, the first slide in your portfolio should be, Who are you? What you do? What is this document about? And a glimpse of yourself. So, me, this is Sumaya. I'm a lighting designer. And this is my portfolio and then will be a glimpse of yourself like here you can add your professional picture or you can you know add some elements which define you as a lighting designer maybe you working in an office or you experimenting on some project so you can add that picture here the next slide is you can include your resume here you can cut copy and paste okay so this gives the reader the information about your educational background about how many years of experience you have in lighting industry so give a basic information um, don't fill your slide with too many words okay Keep it simple and precise. Next thing in your portfolio should be what are the skills you have as a lighting designer? Say you have, you know, AutoCAD, you know, Dialux Evo, Photoshop, AGI 32, Relux, PowerPoint, InDesign, SketchUp or any other softwares. If you know, just make sure you include those in your portfolio. I would suggest you to, to always note down the points you need to mention in your portfolio 
or else what happens is you only need to crush your paper and throw it i mean you will be wasting your time to recollect your thoughts on what need to be included so it's best you note it down or you make this bullets points and keep it ready okay and after this your next slide should be about what are the different things you do as a lighting designer do you make lighting layouts you make loop drawings shop drawings the section details elevations load schedule you do renders you do calculation you make boq or any other thing you have to include these details so what happens is when you're keeping an information about lighting layout this shows that you have knowledge of autocad and say you're putting your lighting layout in the form of a photoshopped image then it shows that you are proficient in photoshop okay next is this is how you put an image you can have one big image enlarge it in the autocad you can snip it directly or you can convert that PDF into high quality image and then add it in your portfolio. Next thing is if you are adding images of your Dialogs Evo renders, make sure if you are adding a rendered view, you also add a thermal view. Okay, the next thing a one PowerPoint option which will be helpful when you are adding images is go to the view select the ruler so this will you know give the ruler on the top and uh, left side of your slide which will help you know the dimensions next is the grid lines so you can see this a uh, small dotted line this will you know help you to put the images properly as per the scaling then you also have guides so these guides are basically x and y axis this is basically you know to scale your images properly these are very helpful if you want to hide this you need to uncheck these boxes right we'll save this next thing in your portfolio should be different types of projects you have worked on categorize your project so say you have worked on residential project hospitality project offices retails facades maybe a museum or a government project maybe a bridges or tunnels so why are we categorizing or you know defining a project is the company you are applying for the job so maybe they are totally into the facade lighting or maybe they are totally into office lighting so it's always better to categorize your project and put us at least one image of that project okay next thing is the projects you worked so if you can put the information about the different types of project you have worked earlier it is the best thing to do it mention all the projects like say in the residential projects you can write you worked on villa this villa you can write um, mrs xyz villa or say you worked at some different project in the residence like for example, my home Guja in Hyderabad. So you can put that information. Next thing, hospitality projects. If you worked on any five star hotels or any hotels, you can mention it. Then for office, you can mention Apple, Dell, HCL, Microsoft, anything, any projects which you worked on. So here, though, like uh, most of the time, people say me that they don't they can't put the information of their previous projects in the portfolio hence they don't have the portfolio know that you can't put your information confidential information in the portfolio but you can make a project of your own maybe you can make your own house in the dialogue zero make the lighting layout of your house make the lighting layout of your college your school 
anything make your own project you can also get AutoCAD plans online make the lighting layout and please put it in the form of portfolio this will really help in getting recruited by the company next thing in the portfolio should be your certifications and achievements if you have got any cert any certificate which shows your knowledge in lighting maybe you have learned or taken any online course through Udemy or through any dialogues evo trainer you can put it and you can also include your achievements in the lighting industry then last and the most important thing is don't forget to mention your contact inf information mention your active mobile number and also your email id person who is you know going through your portfolio wants to contact you so the information is clearly visible to him okay now next thing we are going to do is i'm going to show you all my portfolio which i made a couple of years ago but before that it's a time for a pro tip so we have all seen at some point uh, this very nice transition of a magazine you know turning the pages i personally like this effect so we are going to do the same effect to our portfolio how exactly we are going to do is go to the second slide press shift key and then select your first slide go to the transitions select the drop down and here you have an option of page curl click on this and now you can see your page is turning right here you can add any sound if you want you can also increase the duration or decrease the duration of the page flip next thing you can you know you want the page flip to be done on a mouse click or you want to automatically do it you can set it here once this is done apply to all save it control s and slideshow let's see how the effect has come out from beginning okay now you can see on my mouse click the pages are turning around this is a very nice effect now this part wherein the images are also included it looks really very very nice okay so this was our pro tip hope you found it helpful now let's go and check out my portfolio so in the first slide i kept it very simple you can see the color palette white and a shade of orange then i wrote my name and uh, what this document is about so this is about lighting design portfolio and so my alias next slide is my AutoCAD lighting layout at one side I made the plan so what you can do is to put the AutoCAD plan in your PowerPoint you can snip it or you can convert your PDF as an image file and then add it in the PowerPoint second slide i made the plan a bit bigger one this is a short drawing so if you don't know what is a short drawing it's basically a drawing which shows the dime distances between fixture to fixture and fixture to wall next i kept one big image of my deluxe evo render then i categorized it into residential lighting some of the rend renders of my residential project then commercial lighting here i have one image of the render and the next image of thermal at the bottom i also mentioned that these images are produced by software dialogues evo in the next slide i put 
a few more images of the same project next retail lighting i followed the same theme overall in my portfolio like the first will be a bigger image then in the next slide will be a small small images of the same project okay then hospitality project a landscape project so if you have seen my previous video on landscape lighting this particular thing i made it for a youtube tutorial but yes i included it in my portfolio you can do the same you can include your personal projects also in your portfolio it's basically to show your skills right next a thermal view of the landscape few more images of the renders then the facade lighting the calculation parts then my achievement then later i have my contact information my contact number and the email id so this is my portfolio you can make your own keep it simple put much of the information you can about your expertise and skills and that's it i'm happy to say you that we are soon going to be thousand designers on my youtube channel i'm so thankful to everyone who has subscribed and also the one who are yet to subscribe who are viewing my channel supporting it and encouraging me to make more tutorials in future also i get lots of messages on my social media to make to start making um lighting layouts or the lighting concepts in autocad and photoshop as well so let me know in the comments below if you want me to make tutorials other than dialogues you will say maybe a software like autocad or maybe sketchup or maybe photoshop so whichever queries i get more whichever like topic i get more i will definitely make a tutorials on it so guys if you found this video helpful please hit a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and stay tuned to explore more in dialogues with me thank you